now that we've gone through the file and seen all the different little things that were done to make it come out the way that it is now, let's go back to the color corrections for a moment. She was um, too hot and too pink and so I wanted to remove a little bit of that and there's a couple of different ways that I could do that. Um, one is use selective color and I went to the reds. It opens by default on the reds to remove magenta. I removed magenta and I removed yellow. And I removed yellow from the yellows. So she was a little bit too hot and too yellow. But you you don't necessarily you can't necessarily make your skin correction in one fell swoop. A lot of times in and particularly in this file, I recall that she was green. She had some green color, so I had to sele sele selectively go in and I think that must be one of the that's a, a lightening, that's removing the, a little bit, going a little bit further, removing the red from the cheeks. She was too flushed. Uh, I think here's where she was, she was too green down in here and it, it wasn't, I couldn't do it in the one single uh, color correction. So this is where I removed some of the, the green and, and yellow color. And that's my mask where I... So i taken out a little bit of cyan, added a little, or no, removed a little magenta because it was going a little too pink. When I removed the cyan, it went red, which made me take out a little magenta and a little bit of the yellow from that greeny yellow color. Um, so that can be done in a few different ways. A lot of times if I'm removing green instead of removing it from the reds, I'll go into the neutrals, remove a little cyan, about half the amount of magenta and half the amount again of yellow. For example, if you remove 10 points of cyan, which is a lot, then you would remove five points of magenta from that and then two points, say, of yellow from that. And of course, by eye, you have to decide whether that's correct. You can't go just by the numbers, mathematically type those in. You have to look and see what you're doing to your image. Um, the selective color is a great way to color correct your skin. I also like, I'm going to steal this mask and we'll just do it a different way just for fun. I also like to use the hue saturation. Go into hue saturation and go to your reds and just desaturate them a little bit. It's kind of a nice effect, right? Very simple. It's sort of nice, nice gentle softening of that burnt reddish kind of heated look in her face. But you, you, afterwards, once you have a nice mask, this is my face, my skin mask, then you can make as many corrections as you want. You might think she needs a little uh, contrast, uh, uh, which of course, as you saw, we already added quite a bit to her, but you can just selectively put the contrast into her uh, face. You don't have to do anything overall. So let's take a look at the color correction for the lips. I think I
Oh, must be all the way up here. Yes. I have too many layers. Yeah. So let's just open that up. So this was done with a curve. And I think uh, she was too, she was too pinky purple. So I think what we did here was, was we, we deepened the color very slightly. You can see right there on the overall master curve. And we pulled a little cyan out of that, that area so that she had a little bit redder 